M0 FXB welcome to my channel and here we are with the Yesu 818 and this free program for Android and this is an Android tablet for transmitting and receiving FT8 and the program is called FT8 CN and I will we'll put it in the description for download and it is a simple APK you can use it on your smartphone or your tablet and it is Android so at the moment the configurations I do need to show you for this is we do have a just a standard cat cable that comes for the 818 I'll just show you that so it looks like this and just put into eBay just put in the search 818 cat cable and you'll get them they're about 15 pound UK and mine is plugged in with an OTG adapter looks like this and I'll just show you so there's the adapter that's your USB coming from the cat cable and you can see the cat cables plugged in there just make sure you get the pins the right way around you don't want to bend those pins so that's going off to the back of the tablet. On the radio, you do need to configure a few settings. So if you hold it, obviously we're in 7074, but the radio, the actual tablet will put the radio onto the right frequency. So let's just hold down the F and just make sure that 26, I think is a really key one. Look, it's 26 digi mode and you've got user and it's you. And that's what you need for digi modes. The other key one is the cat rate. So if you turn to 14, cat rate, and then you can turn the VFO, it's 38400. The interesting thing is you can set this software to actually work via Vox, but I, I can't see that, it, you know, if it's working by Vox, does it then pick up the, the FT8 sound through the microphone? I'm not really sure. I played with it, couldn't get it working, although it was interesting. It did all... It did receive via Vox, no problem, uh, as as you've seen in an earlier video. So just have see what other settings we may need. Twenty four should be zero, and then if you look at twenty five, I've got it on fifty, and digi we're selecting Digi Mic. I'm interested to know if we can change that oh, it's just it's so it's just a setting so what mine's at 50. So that looks all set up to me we're in you know usb now if we go back to the software here which seems, seems to be running quite nicely like so I'm trying to get rid of the reflection and as i said you can see the cables in so if we go to settings like so. Start at the top. When you're in settings, it does sort of keep showing you what it's doing, but call sign, grid square. I haven't changed this one here, which is audio frequency. TX delay, I haven't changed. PTC delay, I haven't changed. Frequency, you can select it here, but the radio does it for you. Cat control, USB. Board rate, 38400. Now we've got CIV there. Now, is that more for ICOM? I don't really know, but we haven't selected that, but it seems to be working. And that's it really. So then we go back to decode. And the way I got it TXing, let me get it a bit lighter here. It's quite hard to film a screen, isn't it? Now I can't see we've had contacts or not, because I'm very new to this. But you basically hold your finger on, on one that you want to communicate with. And then call a receiver. And then it starts to TX. And I'll show it changing the frequency of the radio. So you can see it going into TX. These are the core signs of other stations. If you tap here, you can change frequency. Now watch the radio. Let's go to 14. See that? The radio is changing and that's because of the cat cable. You tap here, signal strength. So what's that mean? Is that for adjusting your ALK? We'll put it to about there for now. Let 
Let's go back. Map, we've got a map here. We saw the frequency, let's hit that one. That just sort of started it again, didn't it? Okay. Now let's go world map. Now see the way it all just suddenly appeared there, all the stations. Now how, do, I don't actually know how, because it appears, then it vanishes. We've got some things here. So you can see I am learning this. So let's go to the UK. It's fascinating, isn't it? So now it says I'm TXing up here. It says, you know, if I tap it, that I'm TXing to ON9 L. Is that me TXing? Look. <laughs> What's that one? It just says J. We go back. I mean, it's fun, isn't it? Come on, it's free. So we know we're calling. We turn the radio up if you want to hear it, and you can actually turn up the iPad as well. As you can, so I've not had a contact. Oh look, SWR's too high on my thing. So let's go back to forty. So we'll just go frequency. I need to add my, I have got a tuner, I'll put my tuner back on. Right, hopefully, yeah, no, the SWR's not too high. Should we just check the meter? Push the F, turn to meter. I mean, it's not the best meter, is it? SWR, let's see what it's like, if it's high. I've got one of those little tuners, it's quite a new tuner. We're not getting much show up on the screen, are we, when we here and it's showing the power isn't it's been limited. So this is the tuner I've got. I think I'll add it in. I had to charge it for a bit. See if that helps. Pause in for now. Got my AT100, which I think works really well. So let's put it back into transmit. You just tap up here in the corner. We should carry on transmitting. Get the matrix of the well, it should set its own frequency. Let's do that again because it's slightly out. Yeah, that's corrected it. TX at the moment, no power coming out the radio, so that's that's a worry. So, what I'm going to do is just make sure the radio in normal mode transmits. Let's just uh, change the mode. We'll... Let's grab my microphone. Oh, it's still doing the whole TX thing. So look, nothing coming out at all. So let me just test it in normal mode. Okay, we just got it on F a quick FM test. M0 FXB, look, it is tuning. SWR is amazing, but it's there. Right, let's get it back into the digi mode. So the radio, in theory, should do that for us, or the software. Oh, I need to plug in the cable, so I unplug the cable. Okay, that's back in. And it gives me that little message. And then, we just tap it. Select the COM port, it's a bit, you can't understand what that says. Then we'll, let's put it into the right mode and let's just turn the TX back on and see what it does. See if we actually get a signal here. So what I'm seeing is that there's no, it's using the, the cat. It's not actually transmitting any, any power. I'll just stop it for now. Let's look at the settings. Uh, USB, cat, we've got the board rate. So that's as far as I've got with it, to be honest. Someone tell me 
If, uh, you know, 818, 817, it's the same thing, isn't it? Someone tell me if they think, why they think it's not TXing. Do you think, well, we've, we've told it to, tr to TX. If we go back to, hold the menu. So we're not using Windows. So what we could do is go to this one here, user U, U Digi mode. See that? Now the other thing we could do is try USB mode. We back out. Like so. We'll, we'll come out of Digi. We'll just do USB. See if it still allows us to have control. It has gone into TX. USB, we've got that. And let's just see what, see what happens and then let me know how you get on with it. It's TX in. It doesn't TX for long, does it? Let's go see it. And it's making me go back to Digi. It's using the software. I go there, look. Rear antenna. You tell it to TX. No power. So that's it, that's as far as I got with it. Thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best.